So what's up? It's Topes Trades. It is 118 Monday, 2021. And here's our watch list for tomorrow, Tuesday. I remember market is not open today. It is market open tomorrow because of MLK Day. So number one on our watch list is CRNC. All right? Um, so to understand why this is a number one, this is a number one pick, we have to look at the market, overall market last trading day, which was Friday. Let's look at our, our overall watch list. Wow, a sea of green, every no a sea of red, everything was red, right? Uh, so let's look at spiders, negative one percent. Let's look at cues, negative one percent, right? We're on the verge of a breakout here. Everything flushed. Let's look at the um, some stocks. Look at Chewy, bam, five percent down, five percent. The airlines down five percent, right? Everything was down, but guess what? What was up? CRNC. Instead, it broke out to new highs on the daily. Right, it broke through this previous resistance on high volume. Right, it's not a low volume green candle day. It was a one of the higher candles, one of the higher volume candles. There was one one million shares traded. Right, relatively to its past, like these red days, for example, only three hundred k shares are traded. So, on a red day on the overall market, this was very green, up five percent, high volume on a breakout. And it's a bullish engulfing candle, and everything just says to a continuation. So look to trade a continuation play upwards for this stock tomorrow on Tuesday. And what's what else? The fundamentals are great. It's a great company. Uh, recently IPO 2019, and ever since then just been keep going up, right? And uh, MACD also going positive. Everything just looks positive for this stock tomorrow, or even the long term, but tomorrow specifically. Uh, number two on our watch list is Lulu. If you have been watching Lulu, no, if you've been watching our channel, you know about Lulu. We've been trading this up and down, up and down, making money every way it goes. So that's like a, the overall picture on the daily, right? This was the September gamma, gamma squeeze and then bam, all the way crashed down to 287. And ever since then, it's been trying to climb back to its highs, right? There's a key level here, it bounced here, and it's been trying to climb above its previous highs around $400. And it has been following this trend line. However, it broke. It broke. If you've been uh, following this channel, I've been trading this trend line up and down, up and down. So uh, it, when it broke, I did take a small loss on it. But now, after a few days, with this hammer candle, now we want to re-enter, right? So it's been working for us, and then it stopped working, and then we take a small loss. But now, it looks like a very, very good setup once again. Why? So remember, remember, the entire market was super red, right? On Friday, everything was red, like Etsy, like Uber down to, look like at Uber, so crashing down, rejected from uh, high, the highs. Etsy, same thing, uh, Hanging Man, and then rejection to new highs. Uh, let's look at airlines, bam, rejection. And Fubo, bam, rejection, like everything rejected. However, if you look at Lulu, it's a hammer, right? It went down, look, let's look at the five minute. It crashed down to previous support, right? Which, uh, which was also touched by this candle over here, right? And then at this point exactly, remember I drew the line uh, when it was here, and it bounced exactly. Well, no, oh, not exactly, but a dollar around a dollar up and down at this line, right? At this key level, and then it bounced back up. So that showed there was a crucial amount of buyers near this level, very very amount of crucial buyers. So it means. Even if the market continues to go down, it's very likely that Lulu goes below this level because remember this, if you look at the daily here, right? It'll just keep going down, seeing no end. But on a market red day, buyers showed up. Buyers showed up and pushed this all the way back up uh, and bounced at the resistance, at the support. So now Lulu looks good again, once again, even though it failed this long-term trend line, this, this hammer alone uh, speaks very good signs for Lulu. Look for a future bounce and right up, uh, back up to this trend line, right? So that's a like what? Ten percent gain at least for for about a week or two, right? So we, we get we can see potential of this this uh, dip being bought up, which we want, which we are going to buy personally tomorrow, and we can see this go back above the trend line. Assuming the market doesn't crash way too hard, right? But if the market is red, uh, this can be a leader in the market. That's for sure. So next we have airlines. We already mentioned airlines, right? Um, earlier when we talked about the rejection. So it was even, well, first we have to look at this uh, 
breakout, right? So this is a bull flag going up and then consolidation down and then it breaks through the trend, bam. Remember on Thursday, it went up 6%. Wow, breaking out of this long-term trend line. However, uh, and we can also see that the MACD was also about to go positive too. But unfortunately, the market dragged the airlines down super hard um, on Friday. However, the good thing is we turn on our ind indicators. I don't know why it's not up yet. If you look at the 20 day, it, it's, it's, it held exactly the 20 day, right? So uh, when it initially was going down, right, in the, in the pre market, oh, no, not pre market, like an hour into trading, half an hour into trading, I looked for a bounce play. And guess where I was looking at? I was looking at the 20 day. So I drew a yellow line exactly at 20 day and tried to play the bounce. So I played the bounce there and I sold that VWAP. Um, it's not it's not showing, but I showed that VWAP. And then, however, it, it crashed down again. And then, but it's still holding the 20 day. If you look at the chart, uh, uh, even though this is a, um, a bearish sign, a rejection of the breakout, however, we don't see this candle piercing through way too much of the previous candle, right? If this candle was much bigger than the previous red, uh, green bullish engulfing candle, then we will be worried. However, it wasn't that big, didn't pierce through too hard, and it sat exactly at the 20 day. It is too perfect, right? So if the market uh, is green tomorrow, right? We could see a potential bounce from 20 day and keep breaking up, right? So this could be another really good play as well. And uh, this is not just for airlines alone. Let's, uh, this kind of setups, well, okay, so first let's focus more on AAL, American Airlines, right? So we have seen these kind of breakouts before, right? Mm -hmm. However, none of them were breaking out above the 20 day, right? So when we saw the breakout here, which was a similar pattern, it got rejected from 20 day, it closed, above it, but it got rejected from 20 day and then came down. And the only ones that broke a 20 day again, it started going back up. Uh, same story here, there's a, um, a, a, a long-term trade breakout. Uh, this one was above 20 day, however, if you look at this candle, it's a very, very unusual candle. There was, this was the election, election candle. So it wasn't like a natural breakout on its own, it was because of external catalyst. And as we saw, even though it went up 15%, right, look at this number, 15%, it was a solid green candle. It meant it opened up here, even higher, probably at like 30%, and then just entire day just crashed all the way down. So that was also a bad signal. However, now we look at this, right? This time, the MACD has already been red the entire time. It's been consolidating this entire time, right? If you look at the previous MACDs, it's, it's not even that bad. This was a solid uh, consolidation. Uh, holding that key level, if you see the red, red level was a previous peak, right? The previous uh, resistance now is support, right? Uh, uh, resistance here, resistance here, support now, right? It broke through the downturn trend line and now it's part right above the 20 day. If we can break through the 16.5 level, we can see it all the way go up, right? We can retest the 18 level. So that's a very, very good trade. Uh, if it breaks 16.45. And let's look at the other airlines too, right? There's J Blue is also looking good. Right, like this recovery, smooth recovery. Uh, try to go for a breakout. However, for uh, similar thing here. However, uh, J Blue wasn't. It, it couldn't break through the. Uh, it wasn't an actual big breakout compared to AAL because AAL. Look at AAL's breakout. And this is AAL's breakout and compared to J Blue's breakout. All right, J Blue didn't really have that much consolidation and it's break didn't break through the previous highs. So that's why we chose AAL over J Blue. However, something else to look at is save. Save is Spirit Airlines and it has very similar pattern to AAL and what's better for Save is that it's MACD already turned green and what's even better is that it's better looking at fundamentals, right? So Save is Spirit Airlines is a low cost airline and these air and these low cost airlines are uh, the first to bounce back in this uh, pandemic, right? So compared to inter more international uh, flight companies like Delta, right? This, well, but Delta is a good company. Delta is a good company. But um, in comparison, it, it, you see, Delta is far from its, um, let's look at the weekly to have a bigger perspective, right? It's still not yet hit its um, pre-COVID highs, right? But then we would get save. Well, that's Saba. It's getting close, right? It's getting really close. Look, look at this level. We're almost right near, right next to it. And look at this weekly too. Consolidation breakout. This and it's bouncing at the long term trend line. So save and AAL are the two crucial picks I'm looking for tomorrow out of the airlines. So going next, we have WW Weight Watchers, Oprah, right? Here we see a very similar pattern to all the airlines. However, 
is not related at all, right? So Weight Watchers and Airlines are not related at all. However, we do see a very similar pattern, and this is a weekly again. Remember, uh, this is a weekly uh, ch downward channel we're seeing here. However, we're seeing the breakout. Let's look at the day for more information. We're seeing the breakout. So this, this pattern, right, this downward channel has been seen in a lot of sectors, like airlines, for example, as we saw earlier. However, now these uh, stocks are going for the break, right? So similar to AAL, it went up 7% on Thursday. However, it came back crashing down 4% on Friday. But if you look again, it's parked above the 20-day. It's also close above 20-day. And this setup even looks better than AAL because there is no external factor affecting it, right? So for example, AAL is exposed to, and airlines, right? Exposed to risk, right? So even though it's a good setup, there could be external news. It's, there's a lot more likely there's bad news for airlines than there is for, for Weight Watchers, right? So you gotta pick one uh, in between. I will pick Weight Watchers, uh, right? If you look at the MACD, it's also uh, red turning, turning green. And look at the volume here. Look at the volume. Look at the previous volume. It's kind of low, right? Average is what, barely a million. Now look at recently. Recently it hit this long-term bounce, right? So let's look at the history of the price action here. This is a long-term trend line that it just. Well, I didn't draw it perfectly, but it bounced around here on what a few days ago, one eleven. And then ever since the bounce, it bounced at twenty what twenty-two bucks. Now it's at it bounced all the way up to twenty-eight dollars. A six dollar bounce. Even though the candles don't look too good, look at the volume. The volume, look at this volume. Five million in volume. That's huge. On a on a like uh eight percent gap up on huge volume, that speaks volumes to the strength of this stock, right? And this is also looking at long-term levels too. Let's go back to the weekly. This level is a key level to break because that's where it opened at, right? If you look at the open, it will open around the 25 level. Uh, it was the offering was at $25 and then it's been up and down, up and down, uh, oscillating. However, if you look at this, uh, ever since uh, COVID, it's been going up on an uptrend and now there's downward consolidation and on the daily we have breakout. This could, this, this could be a very huge breakout. Whenever we really involve the day, the weekly, right, the weekly chart, uh, it, these are huge moves. These are huge moves. We can see 10%, 15% days even if, it, if this breakout continues. So right now we don't, we don't want to focus on where we, uh, Weight Watchers yet. But if the market does bounce tomorrow and break above, similar to airlines, if it breaks above this 27.5 level, we can see a huge, huge explosion upwards, right? So this is something to keep up on your watch list. And lastly, what do we have here? Lastly, we have D-King, Dunkin' Donuts. Nope, DraftKings. Um, so we look at the daily. Let me remove the 20 days so it looks better, the chart looks better, right? It's been, uh, so ever since the uh, October highs, it's been crashing down and now it's bouncing, similar to Lulu, right? It's bouncing. And also, if you look at the chart, this could be very similar to Lulu because um, similarly to Lulu, Dikin also broke through its long-term, what, um, support line, right? However, it, it, it seeked the bounce at the previous resistance, which is similar to this candle, right? So this, is, this also speaks volumes to Lulu as well. But for uh, DraftKings alone, um, so it was looking pretty bad at this candle, to be honest, at 114 on Thursday. It was going for a break pre-market. Let's, let's look at the five minute for 114. This is 113, this, this is 114, all right. So earlier, we actually traded this. If you look at the, the, the live trading session, we actually traded this for a, a few dollar profit, a few, a few hundred dollar profit. So earlier, so when, when, it was on our watch list earlier because it was ready to set up for a break, breakout of its new highs, right? All right, this key level here. And it did, it tried to uh, mark it open. However, it just came crashing down the rest of the day, right? So we traded, we, we only, we, our strategy is to trade the first hour or two, first half an hour, an hour of uh, breakout setups, right? So we traded this all the way up. We stopped out right around this red candle and then it came crashing down. So this is described by the five minute, look at the candle. It's a uh, graveyard candle, it's a, it's a gravestone candle, right? It's trying to break out and then the breakout failed, got rejected, and flushed all the way down, forcing a very, very long tail and a very, very small doji body. Um, that's solid green. That's, that's, that's not, not a good sign. However, so, so, so this was a sign for rejection, right? So on 115 on Friday, it did reject. Market open. It rejected hard, right? So following through of this rejection signal. 
However, again, around 10.30, buyers came up. So buyers bought up this level hard. Look at this, all the way back up, right? And then at the end of the day, it was Friday. It just sold off a little bit like other stock, any other stock. So where does this leave us? It leaves us a hammer, right? So it, so it tried to break out, couldn't break out, got rejected. However, now it tried to break down, but break down also got bought up. So the buyers are back, right? So now it, it, it's not sure what to do. So any break um, from now on could be very break, uh, very big. It could. Uh, so depending on mar mar market conditions on Tuesday, however, do know it's inauguration day. So there, there could be a lot of volatility and um, big moves could be delayed until Wednesday, right? People don't people don't want to enter during the inauguration. What if something happens, right? So people will enter after the volatility event. So we could see big buying pressure, for example, on Wednesday, on Thursday. Uh, and if, it, if, it, if it, and the, if the big buying pressure does come in for the entire market, we're gonna see a breakout for D King. So um, that's it, guys. That's it for my watch list on Monday. Market opens tomorrow. Uh, good luck. Uh, my remember uh, going over the top five um, stocks. We have CRNC. This is our number one pick, right? Continuation play. We like trading continuations. They're very low risk, right? We just in and out, in and out, in and out on the five minute. That's very good. Uh, we have Lulu. Lulu is a long-term bounce play. I'm buying this dip for sure, right? For sure. However, do have a stop loss just in case. If it breaks below this level, just uh, jump ship immediately because uh, after this level, there's not until uh, there's no support until all the way down to 320, right? That's another what five percent, six percent loss. So be careful. Uh, Starting to see Lulu. We have the airlines, right? Airlines AL looks good. Save look, Spirit. Air look, uh, Spirit looks good. Uh, if the market conditions do come up and uh, Weight Watchers also look pretty good for a breakout. These are big potential moves coming guys. And lastly, we have uh, We have D-King. We have Draft Kings, Dunkin Donuts <laughs> I, Whenever I think of D-King, I think of Dunkin Donuts for some reason, but it's Draft Kings. Uh, Draft Kings looking pretty good, right? These candles are my favorite because these signal a big move is coming. It doesn't want to go up, it doesn't want to go down. Who wins? Whoever wins is going to be winning big, big, big explosion. So remember to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, wish you best of, best of luck tomorrow trading. Remember, guys, always manage your risk. All right, peace out.